Hey everyone, Ben here. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to grow on the platform and turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you did like today's video, then don't forget to hit a like down below because it helps other people to find our videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any suggestions for content that you have or comment about today's content. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into the video. Alright, so we're on episode 2 of the Wind Waker randomizer that I started recording yesterday. And we actually have a pretty decent start, but because uh, it's no longer in the intro, don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below, mostly my Twitch and Discord. Uh, it'd be great to see you guys over in those because uh, I'm trying to grow my presence. But let's jump in. So we left off on Paw Print Isle yesterday, and um, we're actually going to go around and find some more stuff because we have a lot more stuff to find. So, we're going to go ahead and go and fight Cyclos. We can do that now because we have bow. So, we're going to go and find him. Now, the best place to find him is normally a coordinate up and left from Tower of the Gods, which is not raised yet because we don't have the three pearls, which are the requirements. Uh, so, that's actually the right way. I do need to equip the bow, though. So... With the bow, we're able to fight Cyclos. You can also do it with bombs as well, but obviously we don't have those. And even if we did, I really wouldn't want to fight him with bombs. Fighting Cyclos with bombs can be a miserable time if you aren't careful. I also apologize if my microphone picks up any background noise. Um, there's stuff going on in my house right now, so it's pretty loud. So I do apologize in advance if any of it picks up on the background. Come on, Cyclos, where are you? There you are. Hello. I want to get his stuff done, because usually for me, at least, in when we get randos, he has a good check. Traditionally for me. Of course, now it's just a matter of aiming correctly. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. There's one, two, three. There we go. That can be a bit of a weird one to hit because you sort of have to angle yourself a little bit to the right and a little bit either higher or lower, depending on where he is. All right, so of course, traditionally in original game, he would teach you the Ballad of Gales, which allows you to warp around the map. Uh, of course, because we already have it, it's going to give us a random check. Sweet. <laughs> that works for me. Thank you for the Master Sword. Didn't know you were uh, holding the Blade of Evil's Bane, but I will take it. Like I said, traditionally, he gives me good stuff. Wild. Uh, okay. We're going to warp to Forsaken Fortress, but we're not actually going in there. We're going to use it as a jumping off point because pretty much on all islands at the top of the map, there's at least one check we can pick up. So, of course, when we come here, it's going to immediately turn at night, but it doesn't matter. We're not staying in this area. For whatever reason, whenever you come to Forsaken Fortress in Rando, it will turn it to nighttime. As sort of just its own thing. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it does it, but it does. So, this island, I believe we have two checks? Yeah, we've got the... Yeah, the island itself, there's a chest, and then the platform. Oh, I forgot about these! Bloody TNT barrels. Oof. Right, I'm just trying to remember exactly where my check is here. I know there is one. At least I think there is. Oh, no, wait. No, there isn't on this island. I'm thinking of the next island. Whoops. The next set, I believe there's a sub and an island chest. Okay. This is me again. As I said in the last episode, this is my inexperience oozing um, with Wind Waker Rando specifically. That's why I thought this would be the more interesting one for me to do a series on, because I could do one easily on OOT and MM and not have a problem, because I've run randos on them so f Go up, please. 
I've run randos on OT and MM so frequently that I will probably do a series on those two eventually. It's just not yet, because I already do this frequently on Twitch anyway, so it doesn't make a difference to me. Go away. And we get a joy pendant. I mean, not great, but... Just make sure there isn't another chest by, uh... There isn't. Okay. So there's that. And then we've got the next set, which I believe has one on the island and... Uh... That way. Ah! Uh! Nice. <sighs> I hate this area for that. TNT barrels just pop out of the water, just like, hey, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> I also think it's starting to turn day in game as well, which is nice. Good news is, I think the TNT barrel should leave me alone now. I think I'm far enough away. I think it affects both the right coordinate and the bottom coordinate from Forsaken Fortress, but I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, we can't go in the fairy thing, but we can do... I believe there's a sub here? And a platform, right? Somewhere? Unless I am just horribly mistaken... Am I wrong? I am probably wrong. Okay, I need to take this opportunity to look at the tracker because I'm confused as to what the heck I'm doing. Alright, what is here? There is a sub here. And... Oh, the Great Fairy. I can do the... Oh, this one's open. Right, okay. <laughs> like I said, this is the inexperienced part of me. Uh, like, oozing in. I'm trying to remember this stuff. I definitely do need to do Wind Waker Rando a bit more frequently on Twitch, because, like, again, I figured this one, I was either going to do this one or A Link to the Past. Uh, with each of those, I'm just as inexperienced. I've completed randos on them before, but, again, I don't do them as frequently as OOT and MM, because they're the two I know the most. So, I can do max settings on OOT MM and not have a problem. A piece of cheese. So, because of that, I can do randos on those very frequently and not really have a problem. Uh, with the Link to the Past, I'm definitely iffy with that one. Not so much like, I love the game, I love Link to the Past. It's like the first game I ever played. But, when it comes to rando knowledge, my knowledge is very limited. The thing with the Link to the Past rando is, compared to other randomizers, is it often requires you to know a little bit more when it comes to uh, glitches, or at least advanced tech, whereas OOT and MM doesn't really require it as often. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely instances in both games where, you know, you need to know something that's a bit more obscure, but it's never been to the point where um, it, like, you know, it's, it's knowledge you shouldn't already have, if that makes sense. Like, as an example, it's kind of like knowing in uh, OOT, like, to get to Forest Temple, there's two ways as an adult. You either need to have Saria's song in order to play it in front of Mido so he'll move out of the way, or... Ah, oh, crap. Or, um... You need Minuet Forest, which will warp you straight there. So it's, it's, you know, kind of like that, like, knowing advanced tech that, obviously, you know, is stuff that people should be able to figure out. It's not too difficult to remember or know in general, but it is one of those things. It's the same sort of thing like in a Death Mountain Crater. In order to get to the Bolero check, you either need Hookshot or Hover Boots, because they're the only things that will work. You cannot just jump the gap. It does not work. Whereas, like, A Link to the Past, you need to have a lot more extensive knowledge. Like, where I suffer with Wind Waker Rando myself is... I have terrible memory. Like, I mean, my memory is bad. Like, for people who watch me on Twitch who know me, you know my memory is absolute trash. 
and I often have a hard time remembering stuff, especially like speedruns. Like I speedrun sometimes as well. And if I take a break, which I typically do because I get burnt out from running it so frequently, like a game so frequently, I take a break and come back to it and I'll suck for the first few runs because I just have to remember all this stuff like advanced movement or tricks, glitches, skips, whatever. Like it's stuff I have to force myself to remember. So it's definitely stuff that I have a hard time with doing. But again, it's it's just something that is like unique to me, I guess. Like, so as I do more Wind Waker renders, I'll probably, after this series ends, I'll probably run it more frequently on Twitch for a while, just so I can remember stuff, because it's so difficult to remember stuff with this for me. At some point, I really do want to learn uh, Twilight Princess and Minish Cap render. Minish Cap specifically, because Minish Cap is awesome. Alright, there we go. I got interrupted. Uh, but let's continue. So, we're going past Headstone Island. Yes, we, we don't have any checks here. The only thing here would be Wind Temple, but since I can't do it because, well, <laughs> the tracker explains everything. I don't exactly have the right items. Uh, this is the one where there's an island and I believe either a sub and a platform or, I think it's a platform? I think? No, it's a sub. Okay. Oh man, the Great Sea theme is so good. I love it. I remember getting this game back at launch, uh, way back in the day. It's how old I am. I'm so old. <laughs> Another piece of cheese. I'm crying about my lost youth. I'm not that old. <laughs> like, I'm old, but not that old. I'm, I'm, I'm world weary, as I call it. I'm old enough to know how cruel the world is. I also apologize for any noise in the background, like I said earlier on. This time it's a bloody police helicopter looking for someone. <laughs> like, what on earth is going on today? Go away, Delend. I hate these things. Quick spin for days. And people think that Spin to Win originated in Dark Souls. I disagree. <laughs> oh my god, but it hurts to... It aches my thumb. It hurts my thumb. Use my whole hand. Oh my gosh. So many to lens. Leave me alone. Ow. Oh my god. Please hurry up and drop the ladder. Oh, thank gosh. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's actually quite funny too because on the tracker I have on the map tracker oh piece of heart nice on the tracker this sub is labeled the annoying sub and I can see why go away <laughs> stupid the lens man and they are annoying I would love to know who at Nintendo conceived these bloody things they are so irritating. Phew. Duh. Okay, the next one should be interesting. Uh, this way. So the next one, I believe, is just a uh, a platform where we've got three whiz robes to take care of. Fortunately, we have bow this time. So unlike last episode, where I ended up at Islet of Steel, I can actually do this one. <laughs> So, uh, here we are. The three platforms. Now, because I'm having to split this episode, I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to go on for. Because <laughs> I had to cut. Leave me alone, stupid thing. Right, okay. So we've got three whiz ropes to take out. Three of the bloody guys. Let's take them.
Well, I mean, I wanted to just pull sword out, but okay. Well, there's one. So there are two more because there's a chest on each platform. Get wrecked. Fortunately, these whiz robes only take two hits with an arrow, so it's not too bad. There are some whiz robes in the late game that take way more than that. Ah! Okay, there's two here. Get out of here. Okay, we have three checks here. Come on, give me something cool. Okay. So that's uh, one of the three pearls. Interesting. Dude, if I get all three pearls here. <laughs> if somehow that happens. Uh, treasure chart 18, which I don't particularly need, but thank you. And then we have one more chest this side. Treasure chart 25. Wee bop. Uh, okay, so we're on this coordinate... I know. Final check of the episode because I have, like I said, no idea how long this has gone on for. There is one thing I have not yet done, which is Wind Shrine at Dragon Roost Island. So let's go here. I mean, we might as bloody well. It's a free check that, I, that has no cost. It's a zero ch uh, cost check because you just go there, pull out your uh, Wind Waker, and boom. Plus, we get to hear the amazing soundtrack of Dragon Roost Island, which is fantastic. Da dun da dun dun dun. Man, one thing that most Zelda games don't disappoint on is the soundtrack. Like, even the Zelda games that are debatably not as good, they still have fantastic soundtracks. Ooh, iron boots. Okay. Interesting. I mean, there are decent enough checks. That's not too bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. If you did, then don't forget to join me on my socials. Uh, links to those stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook Gaming. All of those are going to be down below in the description. Uh, it'd be appreciated if you would follow me on those because it'd be helpful. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. Above is a preview of the previous upload, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe please, because we're trying to grow on the platform. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you liked the video, why not leave it a like? It really does help other people to find my videos, and don't forget to comment down below on any content you want to see, or what you thought about this video specifically. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.